Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Factorio. Today, I have some great things to show you. I've been working off camera quite a bit. I mean, not really too much, but I have made some new assembly machine machines. I don't really know what I should call them. I think this should be its own district. I mean, it's just a big district of machines. Making machines. It's actually literally what it is. That's, that's pretty cool. Anyway, the new additions I have here are the electric engine... Oh, wait, I showed you that last episode. Sorry. <laughs> I have a cool assembling sh machine, or two, actually, making logistic robots, which, yes, I finally made a few. Uh, 44, in fact. Seems this has been working pretty well while um, I've been away. Uh, just needs a few more batteries, and yes, the battery production is quite impressive. I, I looked at that, and I was just like, wow, that's awesome. <laughs> so if we just pop some batteries in there, then it will start making more logistics robots, which I think I actually want. So I'm going to continue to fuel this system, and I wanted to bring you guys here today. Oh yeah, I started making electric energy accumulators, and... What happened to the chest for this? What is this even making? Gun turrets, okay, yeah. <laughs> I guess I just didn't finish it in time. Um, yeah, I just wanted to have one of these making gun turrets, just because I have so much iron and copper, it really doesn't matter at this point. But I built this cool little protected system over here of energy accumulators. I don't really know how many are there, but as you can see, if we click on a power pole now, we can see the accumulator charge, which is 145 megajoules. Which is good. Basically all it means is that if these run out, if these ever stop working somehow or are destroyed by aliens, we can have an alternate power source here. Um, so yeah, that's great. I might build one or two more of these just around the facility. Because if I get attacked and the walls fall, then I want to have some strategy up my sleeve. I want to have, like, maybe one down there, down there, because what I'm thinking is that if I get attacked, it's going to be from one general direction. They're not all going to pummel me at the same time. It's going to be from one direction, so for a small amount of time before ones down here attack me, or, you know, something, I want to have a few of these around just in case they're destroyed. And plus, they just add a lot of in-base protection. I mean, look at all these turrets. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that didn't take too long to set up, and it's working quite nicely. And all those really take is batteries and, um, iron. Only one assembly machine. So, that's really all. I suppose we can start getting into flight now, because we really have researched everything we need to research. Soon we're going to have to start making blue potions, but until that time, I have my roboport. And, oh my goodness, that's a big square. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing that's, like, coverage range for stuff? Just general stuff? Hmm. Well, I want the steam engines to be protected, and it looks like there's a pretty good area down here. So I'm going to put the first robo-port right there. How much power is that using? Oh my goodness. No way! It's using more than the radars? How was that? What? Oh my god, the accumulators have started to be used because... Oh my god! Wait. Oh, it's going back down now. Now it's taking up less electricity than the lights. That was weird. At least we know the accumulators work. I mean, look at that. That went right up there and satisfaction stayed right where it was. And we can see it if we go to 10 minutes. You can see the accumulator started uh, doing production. Only for 24 kilowatts, but still. Well, I'm glad it doesn't stay like that. If it stayed like that, I might just have to say, like, wow, I'm going to wait a little. I'm going to get some more steam engines before I do this, but goodness gracious. To take more than the 15 radars I have, that's pretty impressive. So, what do I need to do with this? Uh, Roboport Creighton K. Yanchar? <laughs> Internal buffer recharge. No! This is too much for my little brain. God darn it. I was afraid of this. Ah, shoot. 
Well, we've got a bunch of logistics robots. And I haven't actually tried placing them yet, so... Here goes. Boom! Where's he going? Is he going to the roboport? Just kind of hovering along. They do fly. Okay. Yeah, he's definitely going to the roboport. Oh, it makes cute little noises, too. Did you hear that? Oh, well, he's gone now. <laughs> wow, okay. Oh, oh, yeah, I guess this is... Can they repair stuff? If I put repair packs in here... <laughs> obviously, probably that's what they want me to do. And I damaged a building. Uh-oh. One objects are missing construction ro Oh, those take re construction robots. Oh, shoot. Well, I don't want this alert going on for all time, so I'm going to make a few more repair packs and <laughs> get this repaired. Might as well place the rest of these. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god. It's like a river of them. Wow. That's cool. <laughs> and then I just have one after that. Oh, wait. Nah, I must have auto-filled. Well. Okay, stop bleeping. I've got it covered myself. Are you con- are you going to continue bleeping? Stop bleeping. Also, that's a logistic robot. Okay, thank God it's gone. That would have been a nightmare. Just bleep, 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 bleep. Anyway. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now... I guess I need to start researching construction robots to get repair. Yeah, construction robots. And that gives me an extra robo-port thing. Ghost rebuild timeout plus 30 minutes. <laughs> I forgot to look up about ghosts, okay? I'm sorry, I don't know what they mean or what they do. But, uh... I'm gonna start researching them. Should probably put some more green potions in. So I'll do that and be back with you guys in a minute to start on blue potion manufacturing. Oh my goodness, just in preparing for the next recording session, construction robots is already halfway done. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, and I just thought of something, guys, that we can do. I meant to do this earlier, but uh, these inserters, they will always put items on the far side of transport belts. That means that they would never clog up or interfere with the sulfur on this uh, belt here. So if I got a chest, I don't know why these are on all my quick bar. If I got a chest and put uh, iron in it, it would put it on the far side, which means that iron could continuously go in there whenever iron is needed. And basically, so long as I keep this chest filled, just like the other one, it will be great. So, perfect. <laughs> Simplifying things. Oh, that's a phone. And what do you know? Construction robots is done. Now I've got to build another uh, assembly machine for construction robots, but it looks like this is all the other stuff. Well, cool. Awesome. Um, oh, that'll be fun. Personal RoboPort. Wow, that takes a lot of stuff, though. Personal solar pan. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm just going to focus on the simple stuff. Which, hopefully, making blue potions isn't... is simple. Um, where should I build this? I, th I think right under the LOL is good. So, I will have... Darn these transport belts. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to replace this with underground. Because I feel like it. There. Okay. Input, input... Oh wait, I should probably look up what blue potions takes. Uh, iron... Okay, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay, um... Shoot. Oh god, George is meowing again. Darn that guy, don't like him. Uh, he completely messes with my concentration, jeez. I'm not an important man with important things to do. Can't deal with cats meowing all the time. One thing I do want to get, though, guys, uh, just so you can know that I did get it and why stuff has happened, is Tool Belt doubles the slots of your quick bar. So basically, there will be ten more slots up here, which is very helpful, as you might imagine. I do enjoy my storage. I wonder if I can... Darn. Okay, whatever. I'll just do it over here again. Darn it. 
there. And another input over here, just because. Okay, I'm going to start crafting this, but just to show you guys what I'm going to be doing, the blue potion requires filter inserters, advanced circuits, steel plates, and batteries. Advanced circuits I'm just going to probably put into the machine manually, not really have it making them. So technically, advanced circuit requires copper, and inserters require copper as well. So all the chests are going to stay here. I'm not going to make those advanced circuits over here, though. I'm just going to put them over from over here. And that's what I'm going to be doing. So I will meet you guys back when this machine is completed. It'll probably take up a lot of space. Just so you can see what it looks like. Ten extra slots. Oh yeah. Don't know why these buttons are helpful or useful in any way. But they're buttons. Oh yeah. Another thing that has occurred to me that, um, actually, just for no reason I thought of, uh, I could have two oil refineries running off of this pipe, because as you can see, this pipe is kind of, you know, it's overflowing, it's backed up, it's, it's, uh, it's producing a lot more than this can handle. So, if I had another oil refinery also refining oil and putting it into these chambers, then I could, um, basically just double my production, even though that really doesn't seem like it needs to happen, I feel like that's just something I could do if I needed to do it at any point. Ah, oh, done. It almost took up all the room I expected it to, but surprisingly it's a little smaller than I thought it would have been. So, it's becoming nighttime. Let's hook this place up to some power and some light and give it the essence of life. As Frankenstein once said, life is a beauty. That's why we must abuse it. Okay, put that there, that there, 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 there. Awesome. It should be fully functional, if I didn't make a mistake. Which... Oops, press left alt. There we go. Once this transport belt fills up, that'll make gears. Put it in there with the thing I haven't powered yet. I am, again, stealing electronic circuits from this line because... It's just making too elec many electronic circuits for its own good, so they're mine now. Okay, so when those go around, they will make stuff. That stuff will be made. Hopefully this should work. It looks like it has all the ingredients it needs. Yup, except electronic circuits, which are coming around now. Whew, this is working much better than expected. Okay, soon we should have our first blue potions. Oh, I'm enjoying this new hot bar. Very, very good. We must get... Oh, yeah, and I did get lab research speed 1 and 2, because that's probably actually why it's flying around so much, which is nice. Um... Oh, 200. I think this is a better investment. Ooh, p p purple potions. 60 minutes. There's a lot of stuff. We're nearing almost nearing the end of this game. Uh, there's still quite a bit left for us to do. Oh my goodness. That'll be fun. <laughs> Maybe that's how we're going to deal with the aliens. We're just going to send some waves of robots over to automatically fight them. That'd be awesome. Ah, so long as I don't have to get close to them, because I hate dying in this game. Let's see. I think I'm going to need this. Yes, storage chest, requester chest, and active provider chest going to need these. Uh, from what I've seen, anyway. What was in here? Batteries. Batteries aren't hard to come by. <laughs> okay, let's go pick up a few, put them in there. Might as well pick up a few more to put them in the good old chest of everything over here. <laughs> 44 more. <laughs> That would be so awesome to have waves of combat robots flying over and doing stuff. Ah, this game's going to be fun soon. I can feel it. Okay, where did I need... This is... Is this the... Uh, here it is. No, this probably has enough batteries. <laughs> Not running out of anything else, though. Which is very good. Very good indeed. Take those. Half in here. 
This is basically my life, just putting stuff in stuff. And I did notice, by the way, you can put stuff in chests however you want, so it's not like your inventory where you put it somewhere automatically sorted. So that's fun. Very good. Kind of makes everything confusing, but that's eh, fine. Uh, put batteries here. More electronic circuits here. And apparently more iron. Thought I put enough in there. <gasps> yes! Blue potions! Yay! Okay, let's put these blue potions, the very first blue potions, into the labs. Which looks like I've actually ran out of red potions, which is weird. Boom. Aw, yeah. They look like they last for a while. Nope, going down just as fast as each one else. Darn. Oh, well. <clears throat> Got a lot of red potions, a lot of green potions. This place is just coming along swimmingly. I haven't av actually been attacked this episode. Besides by one lone alien. Poor guy. All this iron's mine. And it looks like I'm pretty much done with everything I need to do for now. Now it just seems like the waiting game again. Ooh, this is going at a good rate. Yeah. Well, that's... That's good. We're making good progress, guys. Soon we can have logistic robots flying everywhere and just doing a whole bunch of stuff. So I'll bring you guys back when logistic system is completed. And uh, maybe, actually, I'll start constructing construction robots. Constructing construction robots. That's a tongue twister. Ah, here it is, guys. Our first construction robots. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure these are just like the logistic robots. They look quite a bit different, though. I mean, in your inventory, they look exactly the same as logistics, but then you take them out and you're like, whoa. <laughs> it's got a hole in its head, man. Anyway, <laughs> place them both down, and they'll go to the roboport. I'm guessing to get some repairing packs. So now if I do C. One objects are missing repair packs. But, but they have repair packs. Oh, do they need under them? <gasps> yes! It works! Guys, look! It did it! It did the thing! Now, I can shoot everything, and they will just repair it, right? Yes! I want to see them do it, not with Hulk. Oh, yeah, that looks awesome. Look at them go! They're just repairing it. And then they'll just get some charge and go right back to home. Oh, that's awesome. That's so awesome. Imagine when I get an army of them. Maybe they'll repair the walls faster than the walls can be destroyed. <gasps> that would be awesome. I need more, uh, stinking... Goodness gracious, I need... Roboports, man. <laughs> this roboport only covers, like, that much space. Barely touches the wall. Yeah, I'm gonna need more roboports to put around my base. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna get on that right now. Also, I'm so totally redesigning this, uh, little stinking thing here because obviously it's clear I need quite a bit more ad uh, circuit production uh, not advanced circuit just circuit production so yeah I'm gonna redesign this into something a bit more efficient there we go that should definitely help with the whole advanced circuit production problem yeah, just one wire maker probably has got us covered. <laughs> oh, maybe it doesn't. Okay, uh... Okay, I'll change that. There we go. Now I've got three out of five of them working. I'll upgrade the system later. It's fine as it is now. It's probably making enough to supply everything, or at least I would hope it is. So, again, putting this thing and that thing and this thing and that thing and... Everything everywhere. Let's go and... Ooh, what shall we do now? I suppose just get back to waiting on that logistics system to finish. And there's a lot of things that I can do after that. Modules, uh, advanced material processing too. Which, by the way, I do not believe I've got advanced material processing. The effects of that is a steel furnace, which is better than a stone furnace, which I am using now. 
So, I don't really know what I've been doing. I probably should have had that done a while back, but, um, it's getting done now. And our blue potion production is almost the same as our green potion production, which is fantastic. That means the machine is not inefficient. Looks like everything's just going great here, so I will bring you guys back when something has gone terribly. Here we are. This will probably be the last thing I do for this episode, is replace every single furnace with a steel furnace. There's actually not too many furnaces in this shot, but if I go down a little, okay, there's a little more now. But if I went up a little, then there'd be a little more. I'm, I'm just going to stop and replace all these furnaces and meet you guys when I have done that. There we are. Sorry if the camera shifted a little, but I couldn't get my exact spot on this bush. Anyway, um, it seems I've made a few more stone furnaces than I... steel furnaces than I really needed. But sadly, it's time for these good old stone furnaces to be put into the trash drawer, where no one will use them again. Except for maybe bots who want to take them out and play with them, and probably burn to death. Well, everything's looking quite nice now, so I guess the next thing I'll get is continue work on the logistics system. This is where I'll end off the episode, guys, so I will see you in the next one. Weirdest outro ever, and honestly, I really need to think of an outro for myself.